made of atoms, tiny, discrete particles that have specific properties depending on the arrangement of three simple subatomic particles. There's the proton, heavy and positively charged, the neutron, about the same size as the proton, but neutral, and the electron, which has the same amount of charge as the proton, and just opposite, and very nearly has no mass at all, about 1,800 times less massive than the proton and neutron. Protons and neutrons hang out in the nucleus, and thus are the nuclear components, or nucleons, Electrons hang out around the nucleus, and there are parts of the atom that do all the interesting chemical stuff. But before we get to the chemistry of the electrons, we first have got to understand the properties of the nucleus. Okay, this is pretty important, so pay attention here. The number of protons in an atom determines what element it is. 79 protons, always gold. 59 protons, always praseodymium. The number of protons in an element is its atomic number. It sits right on top of the box in the periodic table because that's